I'm talking wop, wop, wop. That's the wet, that's the wet macaron. The truth. Alright, so basically this guy who goes by the name of Dr. Witnesser thinks it's okay to tell a kid he's going to go to hell because of his religion. I'm not kidding you, he told an adolescent child he will burn for his sins because he was Muslim. He acts as though he's the priest of Twitch while proceeding to play Fortnite and act like every alt TikToker girl while doing so. He forces his religion on everyone. Oh, you don't believe in Jesus? Let me write a 25 paragraph essay on why I'm right and you're wrong. He reminds me of every counselor at any Christian summer camp. Oh hey buddy, accept Jesus and maybe you won't get dunked out by the 6 foot 1 young boy fan during PE today. It was about time for us to have another Jerope twin. Except this time it's a middle aged man playing Fortnite in his room and just cussing out little kids online. I'm just awaiting the one day where the only monetized channels are the ones which verbally assault young children for their religious beliefs. But let's just take a minute and just look at how much of a simpleton he is. Every one of his videos have to do with clickbait Fortnite thumbnails and typical 9 year olds gameplay. It is good to see his videos get views slower than A Capitals lose weight though. And gives channels like me something to talk about. With all of this TikTok getting banned drama, I wouldn't be surprised if all of these leftist minded raccoons flood the comment sections of every video they dislike. Actually, do you want to know what's even scarier than that? If they started making videos. To be honest, I only want the app not to be banned so all those zombie looking creatures don't ruin YouTube. Every video he makes has to do with Christianity and praising Jesus. His most recent video, I could you not, is titled God Made the Stars. Fortnite. I would understand his videos a little bit more if he was like a priest who worked at a church and helped his younger audience understand religion. Except he does this while playing Fortnite for some reason. I just can't take him seriously to be honest. In every one of his thumbnails it's just his face photoshopped over some Fortnite skin or sang poggers. Some of his videos are just an hour long of talking about Jesus and playing Fortnite. Like I get it, the guy's got good intention, don't get me wrong. But coming to the point of scaring an 11 year old boy, he's going to rot in hell. For just being Muslim isn't the way to do so. I don't know man, the longer Fortnite seems to be a thing for, the more idiotic individuals are produced from it. better Heck to do than make YouTube videos because Call of Duty Warzone is just being overflown by all these 9 year olds. I could you not, I got into a game and killed someone and I'm not sure if it was ironic or not, but I heard him scream why can't I build. Keep in mind! That's the same kid who is running the Scar in Warzone because he thinks it's the best gun automatically. I wonder what game he got that inspiration from. I'm not sure, man. I think Fortnite's letting out some radioactive brain malfunctioning d disease to anyone who watches and plays it in front of a screen. Because every Fortnite kid I see is so pathetically mentally challenged in so many ways. All of these little kids' minds are being manipulated by YouTubers such as Tico and other Fortnite YouTubers. I'm telling you man, when I was 9 years old, I was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. That will straighten you up. I bet you if you put any Fortnite kid in any Modern Warfare 2 lobby or modern day Call of Duty lobby, they would probably end up 200 pumping themselves in the head from verbal harassment. But that's really all I got to say, I mean, he's a 50 year old middle aged man sitting in his room playing Fortnite and encouraging little kids that their entire life should be based off of religion. Well, what can I really take from that? I can take that he's just a low life person and probably doesn't even know what a woman is. Well, that's all really I have to say about this guy. And as usual, on to my boy Toxin. Hey, yo, 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 what's up? After Dark asked me to hop onto a video about this guy, I decided to go and do some research. And dude, I shit you not, homie bullied a little fucking kid for believing in Santa Claus. I don't know if it's the fact that he acts like he's taking some moral high ground on Twitch, or if he's just that shitty of a person. But I genuinely dislike this little fucker. Anyway, let's roll the clip of him bullying this kid in a Fortnite lobby. Do you believe in God? Yes, I believe in Santa Claus, everyone. Wait, what? I believe in, yeah, I believe in him, and Santa Claus. Okay. Are you joking? About what? 
But yeah, as you can see, this man is just an absolute asshole. In all honesty, Dr. Witnesser is just one of the streamers that I genuinely hate with a fucking passion. He has such an ego, and he acts like he's above everyone else when it comes to intelligence, when in reality, he's literally a middle-aged man preaching the gospel on a fucking video game. It honestly saddens me to know that a 35-year-old man thinks he's cool for bullying 13-year-olds on Fortnite. As I stated before, my part is going to be a little shorter than usual today, because I really don't have much to say on this subject except that I just don't fucking like him. As always, the link to my channel is in the description, and if you haven't joined the Discord yet, then make sure you do. Tonight, me and Dark might, like, drop a stream or some, I don't know, streaming COD, something like that, so if you want to check it out, I'll put the link to that in the description too. And yeah, as always, me and Dark both hope you have a great day. Peace out, boys.